and welcome to episode two of the Franny Do Makes podcast. My name is Fran and I'm joining you today from a overcast Gartheth in lovely Leeds in West Yorkshire. Um, first of all I would like to say a big thank you to anyone who watched the first episode and has come back to watch the second. That's really good. Um, thank you for subscribing if you have. Welcome if you're a new viewer and um, let's let's get started basically this is my little corner of youtube where i am explaining and going through my different projects that i make um week by week of fortnight by fortnight or however long it takes me um uh, so anything in regards i do knitting crochet sewing cross stitch bit of everything really so grab yourself a copper and let's settle in and have a little chat so today is the 15th of February, it is a Tuesday, I am a Tuesday today not a Monday because I had something blocking and it's ready today so that's great but first we'll start with what's on the wall. So on the wall today is, um, what is it called, it's a sunburst shawl, it's a crocheted shawl um, and the designer is, let me, because I might say this wrong, Elizabeth Davis de Jerez. I'll write it down here. Um, it was in an, uh, it was in an, uh, not an episode, what do you call it? An issue of Inside Crochet magazine, which I used to subscribe to, but I don't anymore. Um, and I made it out of some lovely merino and silk yarn that I got from Yarndale a few years ago. And this is called by Five Moons Yarn. It's their Diana Four Ply and the colourway is Piskies in the Woods. It's really nice. But it's so slippy when I've got it on it just slides off. But anyway, it's very nice. Um, also I'm wearing um, a crocheted cardigan today. This is a Amor, Amor, Amore cardigan by Cassie Ward. Um, it was also in an inside crochet uh, but it has like hearts, filet crochet hearts. It's really nice. It's made out of Serdar number no. one. It's an acrylic nylon blend yarn but it's really nice for acrylic, really nice. So if you want in like an affordable DK it's lovely. It doesn't pill too badly. Um, it's nice and sturdy and really soft. Comes in lots of nice colours. That's what I'm wearing today. Um, on the lineup today I have some finished objects, I have three, one of them was pretty much finished last time so that's not a surprise. So three finished objects, uh, two whips, or oh, three whips, if you can't I've got a sewing whip as well. And I don't know, oh, I have a, an acquisition but it's not really yarn related but it's something that I bought from a small business so I'll share it as well. Um, today I am drinking a hot cross bun tea from Bird and Blend in my giant Pooh Bear mug. Okay, let's get rocking and rolling shall we? So first up in the finished objects is my Holly Crown socks. The light is much better today. I apologise for the ring in my glasses, I can't get rid of it. So this is the Holly Crown socks. The pattern is by Becky Norman, who is Bexy Norms on Instagram. So it's a lovely pattern down the front of the sock made out of um, knits and pearls. And there's a little bit of the design up the back of the leg as well. Really nice. The yarn is from Snuggly Stars Yarns and it is their colourway exotic fairy garden. It's a good bit of colour of it there. Okay so I knit these using my Chowgu 2.5 red lace long circulars magic loop. Um, I cast on with a Turkish cast on, toe up. Um, I think I did, have I written it down? 24 stitches I cast on, so 12 wraps of the of the yarn, and then I increased up to 64. Um, I knit one row of just stocking stitch before I went on to the sec the 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 main colour, 
and knit two rows and then started the setup row for the pattern and went all the way up. I did a fish lips kiss heel by Socks Therapist. There you go. Then I carried on up the leg. Um, I did a two by two normal rib and I cast off in the contrast colour with just so it just gives one little round around the top. So that's those. Lovely pattern, really nice pattern by Becky. Um, I mean it's a Christmas pattern but I don't think it needs to be a Christmas sock at all. Um, but it could be obviously if you wanted to. Um, beautiful, really nice. Really nice, simple pattern. Really easy to follow. I really enjoyed making them, they were really fast. And the yarn with those colours, I mean come on. Was so nice just getting to the next little batch of colour. Really lovely. So, yep, they are my finished. Do I need to tell you anything else? It's four ply yarn, 75% merino, 25% nylon. I started it on the 17th of January and I finished on the 31st. And I used 45 grams of the main colour and 11 grams of the contrast. I have size 5 feet. There you go. So that's whip number, uh, no, finished object, FO, number one. Well, technically I've not sewn my ends in, but they're done. Okay, second is another pair of socks. These are for my sister. These are just some vanilla socks with a three by one rib using the West Yorkshire Spinners Signature Four Ply Yarn in the colour Wildflower. So it's a self-striping yarn, um, but the stripes are sort of sort of broken, so you get like a little introduction of the colour and then the colour and then it fades out again. So really nice effect that it gives. Um, I have used um, West Yorkshire Spinners Juniper Signature Four Ply for the toes heels and cuffs. Um, use my Chow Goo 2.5 again I think. Yes I did. So I always use it because it's got the best cord. Um, so yeah three by two rib, same cast on. Um, 64 stitches again. Turkish cast on. I do increases through with a, a yarn over and then knit it through the back loop on the next row which I quite like. Um, another fish lips kiss heel, another 2x2 two two rib. Oh, and I bind off using the el elastic bind off, which is on the Chili Dogs YouTube. I find that's the best one for stretch for a bind off. Um, so that's my go-to sort of vanilla sock pattern is what I do. So a toe up, Turkish cast on, fish lips kiss heel and a elastic bind off. So that's number two. So I'll send them to my sister tomorrow. Send them. I'll work with her. I'll literally pass them to her on the desk. <laughs> so that's that. My next... Ooh, that's my blockers. My next finished object, sorry, bend it down, is my Vertices Unite. One of the make night down. Tick. Mm. So, because I had quite a lot of things to finish, and I'd been watching um, Sh Sh Sharon. Sharon on the Knitting Project, um, who does like a rotation of her projects, so she does something every day, um, and because I wanted to get them finished, I didn't want to like get sucked into one project and just keep working on that, you know how that is. Um, I thought, oh, I'll separate my days and pick something to do every day. So, yeah, I put it in here a lot. So I did, I said, Monday I'll work on my shawl. Tuesday, well, I changed that. I'll work on the cardigan that I'm making for my husband. Cardigan again, socks, shawl, and then Sunday I could do what I wanted, basically. Okay. So, and because of that, I'd put my February goals in. So I'd wanted to complete the cardigan that I'm making finish my vertices unite, finish my sister's socks, 
and decide what colours for my crown walls. That is my March Make Nine item, but it might get sucked into February, who knows? Okay, so because I did that, I managed to finish everything quite. I mean, I've not finished the cardigan yet, but I got quite a lot done, um, which was nice to get everything sorted. So this is my Vertices Unite. It's massive, so I will pull it across. So here is section one, the green and the blue, and the purple and the pink stripes is section two. Section three is the red, which I have faded using my minis. Section four is the purple. Section five is the pink and green. And section six is the blue. And again, I've faded into a darker blue. And then the border, I have used the lightest pink in the set. And there we go, there it is. I'm really pleased with it. It was such a fun, such a fun project to do. Um, just gart stitch and, and picking up the stitches and, you know, knitting off a side. Such a clever construction. Really, really nice. Um, I had to do section three a few times. First time because I kept getting this bit muddled up and then the second time, oh no, the first time I'd not, I'd not increased both sides. So I was doing that wrong. So then I cast on again. And then, then I can't. Remember. Oh, then I'd missed. I'd like dropped some stitches, you know. And well, I've not really dropped them, but it had not pulled it through, so it was like a loop, a weird loop on the edge. So I had to pull that back. And then the third time, I'd knit quite far, um, but I'd not fit done my fade properly. And I'd only used like these three colours, and not, and I didn't have enough to finish it off to get all the way to the edge. So I had to rip it back and put another, start it off with a different colour. Um, so this is my Fibre Fox um, Advent from 2020, which was this lovely jewel tone, you can see the colours there, jewel tones, but it was a fade from the red, it started on the red and went through to green at the other end, but like I said last time I couldn't think of a I don't know, I just ummed and ahed with it so long and I knew I wanted to make a Vertices Unite so I used it for this. And I was really worried because I only really had, I wanted a bit of contrast for the border but the only light colour in it was this pink so I just had one mini um, to do the whole border and it's a I-card bind off all the way around. So I was like, oh god I hope I have enough but I did. I had plenty enough, I still had I think about four grams left of the pink so I had plenty to use. And this is the large version. So there you go. Wrap it round. Like that. Nice. Okay. So I used um, a 3.5mm chow go. Um, oh, I did also use my knit picks. Are they called trends? They're the plastic sort of acrylic see-through perspex ones. All different colours. I use them as well because you had to like leave some on, leave some on the cables or um, and then knit off and then obviously for the bind off I did my, I did two long, I made two long needles either side to do the bind off so all the stitches were on and because I, I didn't want it too bunched up and that seemed to work really well. So I would highly recommend the pattern, it's so clever and so fun and once I'd got past this section it was, you know, first, first women, there was a lot smaller the, the sections and they got done really quick so I'm really pleased, I'm really happy with it. If I did it again I think I would choose colours with a bit more contrast, so light, light and dark but I think because the light of the pink on the edge just sort of brightens it up a bit. So I'm fairly pleased with it. And that's my first time doing a fade. To 
fade through. So that's my first time doing that, which I'm really pleased about. And yeah, thumbs up for this pattern, thumbs up for the yarn. It's beautiful and the colour's gorgeous. So yeah, that's my minis project done. So I will put that in my Giddy Knits, in the Giddy Knits Knit Along. It's finished. Okay, that's them. So on to works in progress. So they're most of my works in progress from last time that are all finished. Um, so I will go on to my main whip that is still outstanding from last time, which is the cardigan. Now I realised when I watched the video back that I actually missed out a bit of what I talked about it, which was mainly talking about this. So, I make no secret about the fact that I do not like this yarn. But here is the cardigan. So I finished all the pieces. So I finished the... The back was done, the front was done, and I finished both the sleeves. This colour's off. Just give me a minute. Um, okay, so and I finished both the sleeves, so they have that lovely cable down the middle. Right, so I finished all the pieces and I blocked all the pieces because the next part is picking up the collar and the button bands. So I blocked them, I sewed the shoulders together and I, in the pattern it says to knit the collar and the button bands separately and graft them on. Now the pattern says follow the grafting instructions and there aren't any. So I searched it on Google and I found some alternative grafting instructions that were on a different free pattern. Um, but to be honest, why can't I just pick up the stitches and knit? So that's what I did. So I picked up the same amount of stitches that were in the pattern to knit and then graft to. So I picked up the stitches off the collar and then it's just a two by two rib and then you fold it over and then I I like did a sewn bind off and attached it to the thing tried to do it quite loosely so it's still got some stretch okay so the next part is sewing up sewing the sleeves on really dark Side. Slow, sewing the sleeves on and sewing up the side. Now I'll show you why I don't want to do this. So this is the yarn, it is by Berger de France. It is called Philo Mesh and the colour is Canard. It is 44% wool, 34% acrylic and 22% polyamide. It's a chunky weight, it's a 50 gram ball, you get 75 yards or 60 metres. So this is, this is the texture of it, it's quite fluffy, it's like, I don't know if you can see it, it's like it's a single strand it's got a bit of twist to it but when you're sewing oh, i don't know if it if this happens for anybody else but when i sew it like untwists the thread and when you do that it just falls to bits so i was sewing the shoulders together i mean and look that's how far it was it wasn't like it was loads of stitches and it it untwisted itself and came apart twice look at it i really do not recommend this yarn it's a recommended yarn for the pattern which is a i'll link it because i can't remember what it's called um it's like cable jacket number seven five whatever 
Um, so I'm going to have to be really careful when I'm sewing up the sides and the sleeves to make sure that I don't twist it while I'm, I'm sewing. So if anyone has any recommendations on how to do that, because it's going to be a nightmare otherwise. When it doesn't split when I'm knitting with it or anything else, you know, cables and everything's been fine. But just the sewing, it just disintegrates in your hands. It's awful. So that's where I'm at. But I think I might try and do the sewing up today. Then I can get the button band on. Rip off the sticking plaster, get on with it. But yeah, I'd accept. Bright again now. That's it. It's not nice. The sun has now come out, so I've spent ages setting up so that the light wasn't so bad. No, it is. Anyway, this is living in. Oh, I don't know. Oh, hang on. An Emma Ball bag. It's got penguins on. It's my only big bag that I've got. So. My big project has to go in that. So there you go. That's that one. So because I'd finished my um, socks, I had to cast on some more. So living in my Muppets Beaker bag, me me me, love Beaker, is my Lockwood Fibres. September Mystery Yarn Club. I mean, this is a, this, a fine moment, this. Look at the colours in that. Beautiful. So as I said before, I get a 50 gram main skein and, um, a, and a 20 gram mini. So this mini is just a nice solid grey. So... As with all of my Mystery Yarn Club socks, I wanted to make some kind of pattern sock. I didn't want to just do vanilla. So um, I have chosen these to be um, some Hermione Everyday socks. Which I've not knit before. And I am really, really liking it. Lovely texture, nice and easy to remember. Nice TV knitting, really. So again, I'm using my Chalgo 2.5s. I really need to get another pair of them. I've got some higher, higher sharps, and I've got some knit problems as well. But once you get used to this card, it's it's really hard to go to another version for um, Magic Loop anyway, because all the others just twist and get in your way so much. So they're my favourites. My chalkers. Um, so yeah, that's the yarn. Um, oh, I didn't write down who's it by. Uh, Hermione's Everyday Socks are by Erica Luda, Luda, Lauda, Luda. Um, I'll link it below and I'll add it onto the screen. Um, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. I did a Turkish. It's a, a it's a cuff down, but I've just done it to what. So I did again Turkish cast on. I did six, um, 14 wraps, so that's um, 28 stitches, and then I've increased to 64. Knit one row, changed the main colour, knit one row again, and then started the pattern. The pattern says um, to use a 2.25, but this is my 2.25. I aren't using that. Put it in some hot water to try and um, stretch it out, but no, thank you. And that's a knit pro. Zing, are these things? Look at the colours. And they're a bit blunt. They're a bit blunt. Okay, so that is my first, no, second work in progress. My other work in progress is um, a bit of sewing. Let's put that away, otherwise I'll have bits everywhere. It's some sewing. So I am making 
a Bertha cardigan from Tilly and the Buttons from the Make It Simple book. When I was pregnant with my little girl, I had, I got this, like, I got it from the men's department in Next. It was like a, like a bomber jacket style, but thin, zip up navy blue cardigan thing and I've worn it to death and I want something kind of like it so lightweight I don't want a hoodie I've looked everywhere to try and find it to find it and so but then I thought oh I've got that pattern in that book that I've not really made anything from yet so I bought some um French terry from Little Legs Fabric on Etsy I got just a, a, a navy blue um Navy blue and this sort of painted effect for the sleeves which I think will be quite fun and it was fairly reasonable so it might be a bit of a sort of a wearable twirl but I'll see so I've cut all the pieces out I've washed the fabric cut all the pieces out and it's ready to sew. I'm going to try and sew it all on my overlocker because I got an overlocker um, in the first lockdown and I've used it but um, not for a full project. Sorry, I had my hair cut yesterday and it's just sort of settling in. And I dyed it as well, so it is a different thing. Okay. Um, I also, I've got a friend's birthday coming up um, and I decided I will knit him a socket slouch hat, which I've not made before, but I've got some nice, um, this was um, like a lucky dip scheme from um, Lockwood Fibres again, like the Lockwood Fibres show. I don't know the colourway for this, oh, does it say... Jewel C. I don't think she does this one anymore. This was when she had a different name. Um, Jewel C. It's called. So it's really nice blues. It's got bits of green in it. Nice. So I've caked that up ready to make um, to cast on. Um, I just need to check if I've got the right needles for it. Or I think I was waiting because I think I needed the needles from my vertices unite. So that's that. So um, I don't have any yarn acquisitions this week but um, I did buy that fabric and I also bought some patches um, from a little, are they on Etsy or not? No, I saw them, um, you know they come up on your feed on Instagram and um, I've got a denim jacket with uh, like sweatshirt sleeves. Um, also from the men's department, which I like the men's jackets because they have longer sleeves, better. Um, but I'm going to patch it up. So I got sort of commemorative. So the company is called Finest Ima Imagery. Imagery? Imen Imagi Imaginary. Can't speak. So that's the first one. So that's the Great Indoors 2020. Because that's where we were, great indoors. Um, I've got another one which is by Eckett's Grand for Yorkshire. And the last one, I realise now I've got a 2020, a 2022. Should have got a 2021 so I might have a look. 2022, cautiously optimistic. So I thought that'd be fun, kind of little commemorative things. So that's finest Im imaginary. Imaginary. There you go. So that's them. Anything else? What did I? I think that's everything. I don't think I've got anything else that I need to tell you. Nope, that's everything. So next up in the In the make nine is my crown walls, 
which is using my 2021 and advent from the from Castle View Yarns. So I will get that balled up and hopefully I'll get that started by the time we do the next one. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Good. So yeah, some good progress, I think. Definitely. Um, go and watch Sharon on the knitting project on her podcast because um, she's got some great ideas about how to get all your project done if you've not got that much time um, like I have Mondays Tuesdays off so I can get quite a bit of stuff in um, but then I've got like my kids kids to look after and bits and bobs to do and housework and whatnot uh, but then if you've got evenings you want to make sure that you get everything finished So yeah, again, thank you everyone that's watched. Um, you can find me on Instagram as at Franny Do Makes and I have a website which is frannydo.co.uk I put the wrong thing last time um, which has some blog posts on there and if anyone is interested, as I said before, in having uh, the download for the project cards that I use if you want to, it, it's not going to cost you anything. Um, yeah welcome to it if you would like it just let me know in the comments below um and yeah that's everything i did a bit of organizing oh i do also need to let me show you last year or the year before i don't know it's been that long i've been hanging around for ages um, I crocheted up all of these half and half granny squares. With all like my um, like leftovers. So I've got a load, a big basket full of bits and bobs. So it's mainly old acrylic um, DK that I use for other blankets and things. So eventually, why is that one so small? I must have missed around on that one. It's really did it. <laughs> um, but eventually, I want to sew them all together. So they're all in this basket. I did colour coordinate them though. It's quite nice. So I might put that on one of my days to work on. Do a few squares of these just to finish get rid of some more stash basically seeing as we are knitting you know knitting and crocheting through the stash this year so yeah thank you for joining me today um i will be back again in a couple of weeks hopefully um if anyone has any suggestions or wants to see anything else um at some point i might do a little this is my little craft room, so this is all my bits and bobs in. I might do a little bit of a tour at one point, because someone asked to see that. Someone asked to see my stash. It's not, it's not the biggest stash, it's not massive. I just don't like seeing it not being used is my problem. So I try to think, I try and use it, but then you know what happens when there's discounts and yarn shows and whatnot, so... Yeah. Did I tell you where my beaker bag was from? I can't remember. I don't think I did. It's from Amelia X Joy. Just saw it then. And you can get like add-ons. So I added on a, a strap. So that you carry it about. Nice drawstring bag. That's that. Um, so that's everything. Sorry I've rambled a bit on the end there. Um, um, I realised that I'd not said all of the videos that I watch and um, so I also watch and um, so if you're wanting any others to watch I think a lot of you also watch Stitch by Mrs D Paula I really like watching her videos Um who else do I watch Um Fibre Tales and Knitting Traditions I like hers as well and Woolly Witchcraft I watch Brogan on Woolly Witchcraft yeah, so if anyone has any other um, people you'd like to, to suggest who to watch, I'm happy to watch some more 
always got time for that. Um, but yes, thank you for joining me. Um, please subscribe if you want to see some more. And like the video if you liked it. And leave me a comment um, if you want to see anything different. Or you've got anyone to suggest to watch. Or a nice textured sock patterns. Yeah, if anyone's got a nice textured sock pattern, pass them my way. I have got a lot in my Ravelry favourites. But any more is always good. So yes, thank you for joining me. Come again soon and happy crafting stay safe out there take care of yourselves and i'll see you soon thanks bye